Oh, I stuck out for one second. Free endorsements. So yeah, the uh, <laughs> the free endorsements mean just stay back. It literally that you know, listen to Sully, get the fuck back. I'm taking that. I'm taking that. That was my bad. Why does he whisper? As if they can't hear him or something. Asshole. Yeah, eat grenade shits. Keep pressure on him. Kind of busy at the moment, but you know. Fuck! They should not have done that. That that was way too early. Look at it. That's how early it was. Dudes are only just coming in out of the side. Oh god. Fucking piss off. Yeah, have a grenade, dick. Come on. Shit. So, I could probably, fuck. Yeah, this is getting a little rough. I think I'm moving a little bit. I can't get him because of the pole. It's more of an annoyance than anything. There we go. Is he dead? I think he's dead. I don't have any grenades. Ah, oh, shit. I don't think... Yeah, no, Sully's fine. He just can't do anything. But yeah, checkpointing is a lot more of a friend in this one than I think it ever was. There's still some harsh ones, but for the most part, you can pull this off and checkpoint your way through. Because... I mean, otherwise... It would be a real game. <laughs> like, I guess, I don't know. I mean, it's, this is what games are, right? You push your way through and you sneak it through and you don't, you aren't held back by the effects of real life in which dying is a thing and you don't checkpoint. But whatever, we'll get through it. And hey, they have a new difficulty now, so we'll see how hard that is. Maybe they just took out all the fucking difficulties. Or checkpointing. So every other fucking game has done so far. Just beat the whole game in one sitting. Stuff. We shall. It's so dark. There we go. Ah, oh, look at that. We're back to the shit flashlight. God, that... Like, they couldn't have fixed that? 
Like, that just bugs the shit out of me so much. Because, especially because all their flashlights are fine. But mine's just like, no. Drake's face is his flashlight. Yeah, that's... That's one of those ones that bug me a lot. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let's burn it. Yeah. This is blood. Let's follow the blood stains. Where do they go? The blood stains of a hollowed past. So they actually do this figure eight and go directly into here. Oh, mysteries shrouded in darkness, wrapped in a silent cloak. It's odd. This moves a little. Sully, help me out. Yep. Gotta push it. <laughs> oh Christ. That got me a little bit. Maybe I'm crazy. But it looks like they all killed each other. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe you're getting spooked. What do we have here? Dead guy. A oh, really Jeez, Drake, you asshole. Just kidding. Nate, you're gonna give me a goddamn heart attack. Man, is that an ugly friggin' thing? What is it? Some kind of weapon? I like it. I think it's pretty. No, no, it's a perba. Ritual object from Tibet. It's the loading screen. Spiritual one. This be what Marco Polo was talking about? Kid, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Yeah, of course. In his journal, he wrote that the worthy seeker would be given a golden passport to conquer obstacles on the journey to Shambhala. So, what? This is it? It, it looks, looks like it. Interesting, but where the hell is it a passport to? Well, maybe this map would help. <laughs> yeah. Between Greater India and the province of Tibet lies a field of exquisitely finished temples. Hundreds of gilded spires stretching as far as the eye can see. Oh, God, I know this place. It's in Nepal. Yeah. Except it's not just a field of temples anymore. It's a city. Well, that could make things a little more yeah. challenging. Needle in a haystack. Hold on. There's more. In all these many temples, only one conceals the secret path to Shambhala. Let me guess. It's got some that giant awesome symbol on it. Revealed to the pilgrim Bears the golden passport. Oh! So what are we waiting for? An invitation, apparently. Let's go. See ya. Yeah, Skeletor. Let's get going. All right. Look at that. Everything's going our way. Everything's perfect, 100%. We're doing awesome. Nothing can go wrong. Oh, why would that? Oh, why do I even? Why do I even try? Hi, Chloe. Good luck. Not getting us fucked. Yep. Here's the fucking. Oh. Yeah, to be fair, she was working with them earlier. <laughs> and you, Victor, goddamn Sullivan, you 
still dragging this tired old sack of shit around? Easy, mate. That's pretty ballsy for a guy who spent the last three months behind bars. Better than pissing away three months in the jungle without a clue. I hate that his t-shirt has those weird shoulder things on it. Like he's some fancy fucking... Yeah, he's got a fucking orange t-shirt. He's like the laziest kabuki banister boy. Harry, look at this. Oh, it's this thing I didn't know existed. Like, I, I really want um, I really want a storyline in which we get to see Chloe getting fucked over on every turn. You know, she's like, oh, Drake, we're getting it done. And then she turns around the corner and, like, her other guys are there. And she's like, oh, uh, I was just walking over here and found Drake and Sully. Like, how she gets away with this and they don't question it is fucking hilarious. Like, yeah. Why does this guy have weird girl hand imprints on his forehead? And really, you took out Sully and Drake and escaped, and they got killed, and you got one little bullet on your arm. That sucks. And then, yeah, she goes back and explains how she lost everything. Like, oh man. Running now. Oh, I'm dead. I think that was a triangle. They haven't actually. I don't think there never was a um, an actual thing necessarily. This is one of those things, unfortunately. I feel is going to be an imposing problem. Like, why can't he die? What's going on with that dude? Is it just me? Is it just me? Like, I would love to know. What am I doing wrong there? I forget. I literally forget they never gave me a tutorial for that, and I have tutorials on. I do not understand. Oh my god. It's triangle. Okay. There it was. Man, this is bad. This is Call of Duty fucking Black Ops bad, like, running down a hill and getting fucked for no reason. I press the- mm, naughty dog! You are a naughty dog! You are a naughty piece of shit! Like, you could not have done this worse, man. Do not let the bullets hit me in these sequences is the one way to do this. That's what you do there. To counteract the fact that I'm getting my ass handed to me, you don't make the bullets hit me in this scene. That's what you do. Because I'm going to die, and it's going to piss me off, because that there's no counteraction to this. Other than dodging shitballs over here. And believe me, I've done this a million times, I know. There's no getting out of that. Just run past them, apparently, because that's what Drake would do in that scenario. He wouldn't punch him and be all cool and action starish. He would run past and be a little bitch. And then stand there, because... You know, fuck all you. It's really bad, I gotta say that. Can I just say it? Can I just give me a minute? Patch your fucking shit, guys! You know these are issues. Patch it. It's not just about looks and exposition. Gameplay matters. Look at Metal Gear. The game might look great, it has its problems, but it plays great, and that attaches together in a really nice, solid game. Having these little sequences that fuck up and fall apart does not help the overall situation. Like, 
It becomes a thing, like, it's like, okay. Uncharted 1, 2, and 3 is fucking amazing. From easy difficulty to hard. Crushing? And brutal now, I'm sure. Don't play it. Because you are just going to get upset. You're going to be pissed off. Like, it's a. It's not even about a challenge. It's about, did you take the right chances? Charming. So look, we're in Nepal now. Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. You're not having second thoughts, are you? Oh me? Never. I mean I will say. All said and done. This is exactly what this scenario would be like, right? You imagine I don't know. Jet Li or any of these well not Jet Li, I guess, because there's not as many guns, but you know, these action movie stars where they're getting shot at and shit and they dodge all these bullets. Indiana Jones, for instance. It's chance for them, right? Some of it's skill, but most of it's chance. They could have took a bullet to the head, but they didn't. And it's the same thing in this, and that's what makes it realistic, but also makes it bullshit, because it's a 90% chance that you're going to die because of how difficult it is. That 10% chance you make it through it feels really good, but it's counteracted after 20 fuck-ups in the 90%. So, hey, hello! Look at the fucking truck. This sucks. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Huh. Well... That just happened. So how are you guys doing today? <laughs> no market. Be this way. Oh, come on. Go, go, go. Yeah, so let's fight some more guys, shall we? Damn! School is in session. Yeah. So, if you notice, that was one of the new mechanics they added in Uncharted 2. Is these propane tanks? Now, what you can do with these is toss them. And shoot the shit out of them. I think if you just press the trigger, it will actually blow up too. Which is convenient. Oh! Thanks. Glad that happened. We shall climb. I'm not gonna lie, that game holds together really good. It's just those little sequences where, like I said, the bullets shouldn't be hitting you as much as they are. And not because it should be easy, but because the scene isn't there to be a challenge, it's there to be exciting and running away. Like in that truck sequence, what makes that so good is because the truck isn't shooting at me. Right? I'm not actively trying to dodge bullets and shit. I'm just running from the truck as much as I can and shooting at it. Which is fun, and that's what the other sequences should be, you know? I should be running from guys shooting at me and knocking dudes out, but not ultimately having too much of a threat on me, right? Like, the threat should be there, but not effective, if that makes sense. You know? It's, it's, it's a very fine line for realism, and I just phased through that fucking thing like a madman, which is awesome. But yeah, you know, they, they do a really good job in a lot of these sequences. You know, it's a really salad, or salad, it's salad. It's not steak, it's salad. You guys gotta understand that about Uncharted. No, it's just, it's really solid. It's a really solid game, and 
I mean, I gotta give them kudos for where where they've definitely strived. Like, sequences like this are really fucking awesome, where you're coming up and knocking dudes out, and killing dudes, and being all stealthy. Like, it's great. And again, that... Those sequences are where this game strives. Shall we blow these guys up? Christ. That last guy posed a little bit too much of a threat, apparently. Time to move. That. Shit, shit, I'm dead. Ow! Some guy came up from behind me. I did not see him. So, look, since I started the fight, <laughs> I'm now just in the fight. <laughs> Alright, so... One of the better options here to take, obviously, is to, um... Jeez. Is simply just stay up here. Because you got an advantage. You have a solid advantage up here. Except for that. I knew that was coming, too. I fucking knew it. That's why I grabbed the shotgun. There's someone over there, I think. I'm not 100%. Oh, God. Fuck you. I want that shield so bad. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting into it. Oh, Christ. Oh, backing up now. Oh, backing up a lot. Fuck you. Jesus. Holy shit. That was a grenade. Oh, God. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That's what I'm fucking talking about right there. Oh. Hi, Chloe. I mean, I had it under control, but... You know. Indeed it is. Marco Polo's passport to Shambhala. What do we do with it? <gasps> I don't know. I have no idea, actually. I do know Lazarevich won't get very far without it. I wouldn't underestimate him, you know. He and Flynn have been tearing this city apart. They must have left dozens of temples already. Greg's got something. So what's our next move? Nate? I hate it when you do that. <laughs> Check this out. Yeah. See the symbol? Yeah. Fire and stone. Okay, I see the resemblance. So Heart. Yeah, it's that's similar to the first symbol in the in the first game. The temple we're looking for is going to be marked with this emblem. Now all we have to do is find it. <laughs> you do realize there are literally hundreds of these temples throughout the city. Yes, but if we found a higher vantage point, we could spot our needle in the haystack. Right. There's a hotel not far from here. <laughs> Now, like, Chloe. where Drake goes instantly. It's easily the tallest building in the city. Right. Right. Well, okay. That's, uh, that's good thinking. Follow me. Like, oh, we figured it out. Let's go fuck. Like, come on, Drake. I'm gonna take that shit. 
Oh man, you guys got just fucked. It's not good. It's locked. All right. I'll see if I can find a way around. Okay. Climb some more signs. Like the monkey man that I am. So we are coming up to another big fight sequence here. Hey, I can see the hotel. Yeah, the hotel. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll try and get through it the best we can, I guess. Uh, we got a little bit of a fight coming over here, which is easy enough to do if you know how to do it. So we'll wait for all these guys to kind of move around a bit. And then pop. Gotcha. Oh shit. Might have to try a little method here on this guy. Okay, that's that guy down at least. Oh shit. Alright, well that works. Wasn't quite what I had in mind, but that works. Now locks off, Chloe, if you want to make your way out. Jesus! Alright, calm down, shitlords. Asshole. Good luck with that. Oh, come on, that should totally have fucking killed them all. There we go. What? What the hell? Oh my god. Um, <laughs> this got a little more hectic than I was expecting it to. Like, holy shit, eh? I wasn't quite uh, expecting them to just go all fucking nutso on me. Yeah. Can you shoot that? No. I definitely ain't getting that up there, fuck. <laughs> Run, 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 run